Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a level, more towards level three, quick 30 minute strength building class. So no particular theme to this class, just a lot of strength building work, especially um, for the upper body. So a lot of chaturanga work, a lot of plank work, there's a lot of single leg work, and yeah, it's just all around strength building work. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe and tell a friend. And if you've got comments or feedback, I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know in the comments section below. We are going to get started straight away in a high plank pose. So if there's anything that you need to do to prepare yourself for that, any wrist warm up, any cat cows, any meditation, whatever it is that you like to do before you jump in, go and do that. And then I will meet you in a high plank. bring your hands underneath your shoulders extend through your legs lift up through your thighs send your sternum forward a little bit and tuck your tail just slightly gentle grip of the mat with your finger pads so your palms don't have to be completely flat it's like you're actively trying to pull the mat towards you then turn your elbow creases slightly forward draw your shoulder blades down your back and take five more breaths here From here, you're going to keep your plank. or you're going to do is soften your right knee so it kind of hangs just above the floor. Don't drop your right hip. And then you'll inhale, bring it back to your plank. And then exhale, just let your left knee soften towards the mat. And then exhale, bring it up. And then you'll just take that side to side. You can pick up the pace a little bit if you want to, keeping the rest of your body still. I'm going to take two more breaths here. And then you're going to keep that movement with your legs. You're going to take it all the way up and back towards the downward facing dog. And then when you reach your downward facing dog, you're going to walk it all the way back forward into your plank. So just keeping that bend and straighten through your knees. We'll take the hips up and back, bring it into your downward dog. And then you'll shift it forward into your plank pose. We'll take one more just like this. Coming back forward into your high plank pose, take your feet a little bit wider if you need to. Drop your knees if you need to. As you exhale, you'll take your right fingertips, tap them to your left shoulder, draw your right hip down slightly, and then inhale, set the right hand down. As you exhale, tap the left fingertips lightly to the left shoulder, uh, sorry, to the right shoulder, and then inhale, set it down. Exhale, right hand, left shoulder. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left hand, right shoulder. Inhale, set it down. You'll go one more nice and slow each side. And then once again, you're going to take that right hand to the left shoulder. Keep it there. You're going to shift your hips up and back into a downward facing dog. And then as you inhale, come forward into this single arm plank. As you exhale, shift it back, downward dog, try and keep even weight through your feet. So you might have to bump your hips a little bit to the right. And then inhale, shift it forward, single arm plank. One more time. Take it back, downward dog. And then bring it forward. From here, you could set your right fingertips down if you needed to. Otherwise, extra challenge would be to lift your left leg here. And then we're going to do the same thing. So keep your right arm floating, left leg is floating. Send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Variation. And then as you inhale, you'll shift forward, one arm, one leg plank. As you exhale, take it back to this dog shape. 
and then inhale, bring it forward. And take one more like this, take it back. And listen carefully, this time as you come forward, you're gonna bring your left leg underneath you, set it off to the right side of the mat for a fallen triangle, so the right foot spins flat. Inhale, sweep your right arm up towards the sky. As you exhale, thread that right arm underneath the left rib cage. Inhale, open it up, listen carefully. As you exhale, press into your right foot, lift your left leg. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left rib cage. Inhale, open it up. As you exhale, lift the left leg. Three more, inhale, set it down. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, lift the leg. Two more on your own. From here, you're going to keep that left leg lifted. We're going to bring this all the way to wild thing. So bring your right hand down, left leg comes all the way up and over. Set those left toes behind you. And then as you inhale, open into any amount of your wild thing. You could also keep this as a side plank. You could stay right here. Otherwise, as you inhale, you're going to bend into both of your knees so that your left knee comes towards tapping the floor. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. And then as you exhale, straighten through the right knee. Inhale, shift forward. See if you can tap the left knee to the floor. And then exhale, bring it back. Just one more. Inhale. And then exhale. From here, we're going to make our way back into our high plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. As you exhale, chaturanga and hold. Knees could be down here if you wanted to. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Engage through the thighs. Gaze is down at the floor. We've got three more breaths. Take another inhale, and then as you exhale, press the floor away, high plank pose. This time you'll take your left hand to tap your right shoulder. As you inhale, shift the hips up and back into your single arm dog. Bump the hips a little over to the left to even out the weight in the feet. And then as you exhale, shift forward, one arm plank. Inhale, one arm dog. Exhale, back to the plank. We'll go one more. Remember, left fingertips can set down here if you need to. Otherwise, you're going to float that right leg. And then as you inhale, shift it back. One arm, one leg dog. And then exhale, bring it forward into your awkward plank. We're going to do two more here. This time as you come forward, that right leg is going to shoot underneath you. Drop the left foot flat. Right foot sets to the outside left edge of the mat. And then as you inhale, sweep your left arm up to the sky. As you exhale, thread it under. Inhale, open it up. As you exhale, lift the right foot. Inhale, set it down. You've got four more just like that. On this one, you're going to keep the right leg up. We're coming all the way to wild things. So plant the left hand. Right leg comes up and over. And then as you inhale, open up into your wild thing. Feel free to stay. Otherwise, as you exhale, you'll bend into the left knee. See if your right knee can tap the floor. And then inhale, straighten it up. Exhale, shift forward. See if you can tap. Inhale, open it up. One more. Take a nice deep inhale, and then as you exhale, come back into your high plank pose. Inhale, shift for chaturanga. We're going to hold. As you exhale, lift your right leg up. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, left leg up. Inhale, tap it down. Four more on each side. Drop your knee if you need to.
take an inhale in your chaturanga as you exhale press the floor away inhale downward facing dog as you exhale look towards the top of the mat step walk or float your feet to the back of your hands inhale halfway lift lengthen exhale forward fold generous bend in the knees roll yourself all the way up the spine as you inhale sweep the arms all the way up and overhead exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift and lengthen as you exhale step walk and float step walk or float chaturanga pause inhale plank pose option for a second chaturanga inhale back to plank exhale downward dog straight away bend the knees jump to the top inhale lengthen exhale fold inhale come all the way up exhale fold it down inhale lengthen exhale step walk or float chaturanga pause inhale plank exhale second chaturanga inhale to plank exhale bend the knees at the back of the mat step walk or float to the top inhale lengthen exhale forward fold inhale come all the way up exhale bring it down we've got three more rounds inhale lengthen exhale step walk or float pause chaturanga inhale to plank exhale chaturanga inhale to plank exhale bend the knees at the back of the mat spring forward inhale lengthen exhale fold inhale raise take two more rounds on your own We'll meet at the top of the mat in a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, drop the hips on your next inhale. You'll come up to chair pose. My hair is going all over the place. As you exhale, you're just going to cactus the arms back. So keep the feet down. You're just going to cactus the arms back, palms face down. Inhale, reach forward, sink a little lower. As you exhale, keep the depth. See if you can bring the elbows towards the back of the room. We're going to do three more like this. So you're shifting weight back into your heels, but you're keeping all 10 of your toes down. One more here. Inhale into your chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step walk or float, chaturanga, pause. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, lift the right leg. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, lift the left leg. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, plank pose, downward facing dog. As you inhale, sweep the right leg up to the sky. As you exhale, tap, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, shift it to the left. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, to the right wrist. Exhale to the left wrist. Inhale to the right wrist. Exhale, elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it all the way through. Set yourself up for crescent lunge as you inhale, come all the way up. As you exhale, cactus the arms as you tap the back knee to the floor. As you inhale, come all the way to stand on the right leg, left knee to chest. Take an inhale here. Take an exhale. As you inhale, you're going to come all the way back down. Tap the left knee to the floor, cactus the arms. And then as you exhale, come all the way to stand on the right leg. Inhale, tap the knee to the floor, cactus. Exhale, stand. Left knee to chest. Two more. As you inhale, come back into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, power lunge. Reach the arms forward. Bring the torso forward. We're going to do that cactus again. Turn your palms down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, keep your lunge. Just cactus the arms towards the back of the room. And then inhale, reach forward. 
draw your right hip crease back exhale cactus inhale reach we've got three more inhale into your power lunge as you exhale set the hands down inhale single leg plank exhale chaturanga hold take an inhale as you exhale see if you can tap right knee towards the right elbow inhale it back exhale tap the knee towards the elbow inhale it back just three more inhale come back up into your plank and then exhale downward facing dog as you inhale sweep the left leg up towards the sky as you exhale shift forward tap left knee left elbow inhale to the right exhale to the left inhale to the left wrist exhale right wrist inhale left exhale to the elbow inhale three-legged dog and then as you exhale step it all the way through inhale come up crescent lunge as you exhale dip the back knee as you cactus the arms as you inhale come all the way to stand on the left leg take an exhale here as you inhale you'll step back dip the knee cactus the arms as you exhale come all the way to stand on the left leg draw the knee to the chest we've got three more just like this Inhale, come back into your pa uh, into your crescent lunge, and then as you exhale, hinge forward, power lunge. Turn your palms down on your inhale. As you exhale, draw your left hip crease back slightly, cactus the arms towards the back of the room. Inhale, reach it forward. Four more, just like that. Inhale, reach, power lunge as you exhale, hands find the floor. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, single leg chaturanga, pause. Take an inhale. As you exhale, see if you can bring the left knee towards the elbow. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, send it back. Three more. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, plank, downward facing dog. Take an inhale. As you exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come into your chair pose. As you exhale, keep your chair, draw your right knee into your chest. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, nothing else changes. You're just going to send that right leg back behind you like a little donkey kick. Keep the knee bent. And then as you inhale, draw it into your chest, single leg chair. As you exhale, bend deep into that left leg as the right knee comes back. Inhale, single leg chair. We're going to do eight more of these. One more. You're going to bring your right knee to chest. You're going to come all the way to standing. Take an inhale. And then we're going to come into a crouching warrior. So as you exhale, it's like you're coming into warrior three, except you're going to bend that left knee. So everything else is warrior three, but you've got a deep bend in that left knee. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to come all the way to stand, right knee to chest. Inhale, bring it all the way down into a crouching warrior. Sweep those arms forward, right leg back. And then as you exhale, hands can come down by your side or up to the sky as you draw that right knee to chest. Excuse me, we're going to do three more just like that.
We're going to come back into that crouching warrior. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to bend the right knee like a hamstring curl. And then inhale, send it long. Exhale, bend the knee like a hamstring curl. And then inhale, send it long. We're going to do four more here. Stay low in that front leg. You're just going to bring your right knee forward and then set your right foot next to your left. You're in your chair pose as you inhale. As you exhale, the left knee will come up into the chest. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, we're going to bring that donkey kick back behind us and then inhale it into the chest. Exhale, the left leg goes back. Inhale, bring it forward. We've got eight more. On this last one, bring your left knee to chest. Come all the way to standing. Take an inhale. As you exhale, we're going to come all the way down into that crouching warrior. So send your left leg back. Reach your arms forward. Bend your right knee. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press all the way to stand. Left knee to chest. Inhale. Bring it down. Crouching warrior. And then as you exhale, bring it all the way to stand. We've just got three more of these. On your inhale, you'll come back down into your crouching warrior. As you exhale, curl your left heel to your glute hamstring curl. Inhale, send it long. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, send it long. Four more. Draw your left knee to your chest. Step it next to the right. Inhale, chair pose. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step walk or foot, chaturanga, pause. Take an inhale. As you exhale, see if you can bring your right knee towards the elbow. Inhale, step it back. Exhale, left knee to the elbow. Inhale, step it back. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, downward facing dog. From here, you're going to drop your elbows coming down into your dolphin pose. Look between your thumbs as you inhale, shift forward. See if you can tap your nose. And then exhale, shift it back. Make this harder. You'll walk your toes closer to your elbows. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, shift back. We've got eight more of these. One more. Walk yourself back. Forearm plank. We're going to bring that donkey kick back in. If you need to set down your left knee here, do so. Otherwise, you're going to take an inhale, and then as you exhale, you'll bend your right knee. As you inhale, tap your knee to the floor, and then exhale, it's a donkey kick from the hip. Inhale, tap the knee to the floor, and then exhale, see if you can get the sole of the foot to the sky. We're going for eight more.
Keep that right leg lifted. Angle your left forearm in and then come into a side plank with that right leg lifted. Inhale, reach the right arm overhead. As you exhale, you're going to tap right knee, right elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap right knee, right elbow. Inhale, lengthen. We've got eight more. Inhale into your side plank and then exhale, right forearm comes down, side, um, forearm plank. Drop your right knee if you need to, take an inhale. As you exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, tap it to the floor. Exhale, donkey kick. Inhale, tap it to the floor. Exhale, donkey kick. Eight more. Keep your left leg lifted. Angle your right forearm in and come into your side plank. As you inhale, sweep that left arm overhead. As you exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to crunch. Inhale to lengthen. Eight more. One more. Come back into your forearm plank, take an inhale, and then as you exhale, slowly with control, lower your legs, lower your pelvis, inhale, pull your sternum through the gateway of the arms for Sphinx Pose. You could stay right here, otherwise on your exhales, you could press into your palms, see if you can lift your elbows any amount as long as it's supported in your back, and then inhale, tap them down. A little bit of tricep work as you exhale, straighten the elbows. Inhale, set them down. We're just going to go for three more breaths here. Inhale, come into your sphinx pose, and then as you exhale, bring yourself all the way down. Keep your head down to start. We're going to make this a two-part movement. I'm just going to detach my microphone. Take an inhale here. Cactus your arms out to the side. As you exhale, keep your head and your pelvis down. Just lift your arms in a cactus and see if you can get your wrists and your elbows in line. So if your elbows are really high or your wrists are really high, see if you can bring them all in line with your shoulders. Inhale, tap them down. And now as you exhale, you're going to do the same thing with the arms, but press into the legs and the pelvis. See if you can lift your chest. Inhale, set it down. Keep your head down as you exhale, just the arms. Inhale, set them down. And then as you exhale, this time, chest and arms. Inhale, set it down. So you're going to keep going like this, alternating between arms and chests and arms. What I want you to pay attention to is a couple of things. So one, especially when you're just lifting the arms, Try not to just bunch up your shoulders towards your ears. See if you can imagine where your shoulder blades are and those muscles that sit on the back of your shoulder blades and in between your shoulder blades, they're where you're wanting to try and activate or bring your attention to. And then when you're lifting your chest as well as your arms, try not just to balloon your belly out into the floor. So I don't want you to death grip your glutes, but I want you to think about lifting from your upper back muscles. We're going to do one more of each.
Inhale, set it down from here. You're going to reach your hands out in front of you, palms face down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, everything lifts, arms, legs. Keep everything as it is. You're just going to exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, reach them forward. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, reach them forward. We've got eight more. This is our last hard bit. One more. You're going to set your right arm down like a cactus. Left hand comes underneath the left shoulder. Press into the left hand and look towards the left. You should feel a nice stretch in through your right shoulder. And then you'll switch it out. Set your left hand down like a cactus. Right hand presses the floor away. Look towards the right. And then slowly set it down. From here, you'll bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck under your toes. Lift your knees. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press the floor away. Chaturanga pause for five. I know I said the last thing was the last hard thing. I lied. For four. For three. For two. For one. Press the floor away. High plank. Downward facing dog. Look towards the top of your mat, step, walk, or float yourself through Navasana, boat pose. We're down for one, low boat. Exhale, bring it up. Down, low boat. Exhale it up. That was two, we've got eight more. Last time. From here, two options. You can either come into Paschimottanasana, forward fold, or you can grab around your big toes and extend your legs up in front of you so you're in this kind of like Winnie the Pooh bear boat shape thing. I don't know. I heard somebody else call this Winnie the Pooh pose and I really liked it, so I'm going to roll with it. You could stay here, or if you're in your forward fold and you wanted to take it to a straddle, you could go there. Same thing if you're up in your boat pose, you could straddle out through your legs. And then wherever you are, we're going to come back to center and we're going to take this into a twist. So you could come into a simple cross-legged twist. Otherwise, Adamatsi and Drasana, right leg comes underneath, left leg crosses over the top. Take your left hand behind you, inhale, sweep your right arm to the sky. And then as you exhale, right hand, right elbow will either hook to the outside of your left knee or just hug around the knee. And then wherever you are, you'll just change the cross of your legs. So either other one in front or other one underneath. Right hand will come behind, left arm up, inhale. And then as you exhale, come into your twist. My husband's like just behind the camera working and he's just sitting there just like obviously listening to music, just kind of like bobbing slowly in his chair. Quite entertaining. And then you're going to slowly unwind yourself. If there's any other movements or stretches you need, feel free to take them. If you want to finish in Shavasana, make your way down to the floor. Otherwise, you're just going to come to a simple cross-legged position. Wherever you're ending, everybody take a nice deep breath in through the nose, hold it at the top, and then a big open mouth exhale, let it all go. Please feel free to stay here for as long as what serves you. As always, thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.